ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 21st day of August. What's the deal with Faye? That's what everybody wants to know, and we'll see if we can answer some of your questions. Uh, let's go right to the uh, Skycam images, and I thought I'd go back and look at some of the ones this morning coming from about uh, 6 30 as the sun was coming up beautiful sunrise shots that's coming from the uh, birmingham sky cam on top of the daniel building to the east there's a look at the uh, sunrise this morning coming from trustville that's our new sky cam there just off chalkville mountain road and the gulf of mexico that's a sky cam down at the phoenix all suites looking east of course and we have to wonder what that shot's going to look like sunday and monday with Faye in the picture well, there we go. Faye is uh, finally drifting north, northwest, still pretty much hugging the Atlantic coast of Florida. The uh, upper level low has kind of opened up into a shear axis west of the state, and between those two features, we'll certainly mention a chance of scattered showers and storms the uh, next couple of days, and the widespread rain from Fay will probably hold off until Sunday and Monday. And again, everybody wants to know how much, how bad will it be, We'll try and at least look at the possibilities as we go along. Here's the QPF map. This is the uh, 12Z look from the uh, guys at HPC, and they're targeting the bullseye right around Apalachicola, 19.7 inches there. Goodness. And the heavier totals are over South Alabama, as you can clearly see. The mounts really taper off to the north, and the question is, will the thing be turning north up into Mississippi and Alabama? I think it will, and I do think we'll see significant rain. Uh, as we get into early next week. This, by the way, is valid through 7 o'clock Tuesday morning. And you're going to see a lot more adjustments in that because that thing basically will mirror the uh, track from the National Hurricane Center on Fay. Here's a look at the uh, storm today, and you can see that uh, the Circulation Center is uh, really not too far from Flagler Beach, south of Jacksonville. Uh, big, big storms wrapping inland up into uh, Jacksonville and Brunswick there. There's a look at the uh, radar coming from Jacksonville. And uh, needless to say, our friends in uh, the first coast area there will have a lot of wind and rain tonight and tomorrow. In fact, one of our affiliate radio stations, we've got one in Jacksonville, one in Brunswick. So both will be dealing with rain and wind. There's the storm total estimates coming from the Jacksonville radar, and that kind of tells the story, doesn't it? Uh, really, over the eastern half of the Florida Peninsula, some huge rains. In some cases, what, two feet around Melbourne. And then, interesting to note, over to the west, hardly any rain down around Tampa Bay, up toward uh, uh, Cedar Key and places like that. Now, let's look at the modeling on Faye. This is the uh, 12Z batch of models, and you can see that uh, uh, they all move it west, northwest. Some get it in the waters of the Gulf. Many do not. It kind of hugs the coastline, really. And you'd think that uh, it will not have the chance to become a hurricane, but it's not totally out of the question. We'll look at the GFS and the European here in just a moment, but note that most of the models kind of stall the thing out or bend it north early next week. And a stalled tropical system down there over south Mississippi could mean wet weather for much of Alabama. Remember, don't focus on a line with this. This is going to be a broad mass of rain. And sometimes at night you get these nocturnal flares near the center, but during the day the rain can spread out. Here's the official track from the Hurricane Center. Uh, it moves it from its current location to a point uh, near Panama City Saturday morning, then to a point uh, just north of Mobile over the Mobile Delta Sunday morning, and then up to a point around Jackson, Mississippi Tuesday morning. And, boy, that thing just creeps and it basically stalls out there over south Mississippi or central Mississippi. And, again, that really puts much of our state in a favorable position for some pretty good rain from this thing. And again, we'll look at the modeling in just a moment on the GFS and the European. First off, I'll look at 94L, the uh, second wave that's trailing <coughs> Fay in the Atlantic. And you can see we've got a flare of convection there. The models do identify the system, and uh, there's pretty good agreement. They move it to uh, really Puerto Rico and up on the northern coast of Hispaniola. Sound familiar? Yeah, that's kind of where Fay tracked earlier. And again, from that point, a lot of things can happen. It can uh, come up and threaten Florida, come across the Straits, wind up in the Gulf, or it can recurve or threaten the middle Atlantic coast. But again, we'll focus on that one later. Let's get back to the GFS now. This is valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow uh, at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. 
And you can see that short wave that's uh, passing well to the north, but again, I'm not so sure that influences the Fay that much. There's a look at the surface chart. The GFS has Fay really around Apalachee Bay uh, tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Saturday, it moves the system pretty quickly over to Mobile Bay, and uh, uh, the GFS is definitely one of the faster models out there. And then Sunday, it kind of comes to a dead stop, and that puts Alabama in a very favorable position for rain over the weekend, the whole state. Remember, don't focus on the center line here. The, you know, the tropical storm is going to be a big spread out rain mass. Uh, so if this is right, the whole weekend could be pretty wet, but I think the GFS might be too fast. I think it still might be Sunday or Monday before the widespread rain gets in here. There's a look at Monday. The thing moves right up toward Birmingham and Tuscaloosa. And again, Monday, if this is right, very wet. And then Tuesday of next week, uh, what's left of it begins to lift out, and Wednesday it's out, and uh, showers become very widely scattered. What about the European? Let's see what's happening here. This is Saturday uh, evening at 7 o'clock. Uh, this time, the European is not as far south. It's kind of in tune with the rest of the models now. We're getting pretty good agreement. You know, the, the, sh the, the maps we showed you this morning had this thing about 100 miles south in the Gulf with a chance of becoming a major hurricane. Now it's got it almost onshore, uh, really around Gulf Shores. And then Sunday, it doesn't move. It just stops. The steering currents are very weak, and again, it just stays there. There could be some huge rains for parts of the Gulf Coast. And then Monday, it drifts back over toward New Orleans. And then Tuesday, it moves northeast up toward uh, Demopolis, Alabama. And then uh, Wednesday of next week, it moves up into Tennessee and Kentucky. So, uh, goodness gracious, it's, I think inevitably we are going to get some beneficial rain. Some parts of the state could see some flooding issues uh, over the weekend and early next week. We'll just have to leave it as a broad possibility. We'll fine-tune it as we get closer. And, hey, look down there in the uh, lower left. That's 94L coming up as a tropical storm uh, approaching uh, the eastern tip of Cuba. And by golly, that's almost in the same spot that Faye was in uh, a couple of weeks ago or a week and a half ago. So a lot on the plate here. Quickly, the end of the forecast period, the 5th of September. Westerly's way up north and uh, looks like some kind of tropical system coming up there at the Texas coast, doesn't it? So no doubt tropical weather will be the headline for a while here. Uh, that's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Notes on the blog, alabamawx.com, if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And for those of you in our market, we invite you to watch us on television this evening in Birmingham, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Wait, wait, wait.